Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Trucker Jukebox and Pooh Bear and Jake Breaks Show. Uh, Y'all guys have a good day, and I got to get back to my channel. Bye-bye. Our differential on. I know you're only seeing part of my head. That's because I don't have the camera, this one up too high. <laughs> oh well. well, we got the differential on. Let's give it a whirl. We haven't moved yet until right now. Make sure my trailer is moving. Oh yeah. We didn't idle all night because I got that bunk heater. But it didn't really get, I think it got down to 28. So it didn't really get super, super cold. The truck knew it was cold when it started, but <laughs> I just hope the roads are okay. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. A transmission's code. I'll turn off my differential when I get down here. I just... It's always better to turn that on before you start spinning. It gives you better traction. Start spinning, then you put it on, then if you dig a little hole, it makes it kind of hard to get out, even with the differential on. I can turn off the... Uh, don't look too bad. You can tell my motor's cold though. And the window's gonna get messed up. My stuff is going to fall and hit me in the head. That's my bill. Where I'm delivering.
Now I'm not driving slow because I'm afraid. I'm trying to get up this hill. Pretty decent. Wiper blades are kind of frozen a little bit. But... Come on, bitchy, let's go. I was gonna trick you all and say I was up in Canada because <laughs> of all this. I was spoiled. I told you guys when I was down south and all that green, I was gonna be sick when I came up here. It's winter. It is actually March 23rd, and it's winter. What's my temperature? 29 degrees. But don't let it fool you. It could be ice. Now I'm gonna get crowded. I don't like being crowded. Come on, big truck. I don't like being crowded like that. I'm still trying to climb. I've been climbing. It's not even a mountain. It's a little molehill. See, that, that was slick just a little bit. And remember, bridges will freeze before the road, before the road will. Because the, the cold air gets up underneath the bridge and it hits it, freezes it from the bottom. And then you got the top that's being hit. And that's why it freezes before the roadway. My steer tire didn't want to go that way. Well, we're here. Receiving only. And shipping and receiving. Well, I don't know what I got. Is it rubber? I don't know what it is. I think what we'll do though, we'll perk here. I guess. Let's go find out. We'll be back. Well, we are in the dock. See? <laughs> we are in the dock. I'll call John here in a minute. Find out where our next load is being picked up. I just got on old Jake. I just got on to him. Every time I leave the truck, whether it's an empty bag or there's something in it, he gets into the trash. And he destroys the bag if there ain't nothing in it. Or he will take what is in it and he will just have a heyday with it. So every time I have to pick it up and I get on to him every time for it. And this time I really yelled at him. Uh, I need him to stop getting into the trash. You know, it's not the point. Uh, somebody said, well, just don't have a bag in there with trash. Well, that's impossible. Uh, I, I uh, have these little bags just you know you go inside a truck stop and, which in this case my friend Jerry gave me these bags from Kroger and uh, and I hang them up but that's not the point because when he goes to my mom's house uh, same deal the trash and uh, you can't tell them to put their their uh, uh, put their trash somewhere else because of Jake 
or if I go to somebody else's house, um, I got to break him of that habit. I, I don't hit him. Don't get me wrong. I don't beat him. Just uh, me yelling at him. And uh, I got this. <coughs> Wouldn't hurt him. But it scares him. Trying to break him from the trash. Man, it's, you know, he's actually getting potty broke. Uh, but, and that was easy. Uh, but the trash thing, he is into that no matter what, you know. But I got on to him. You stay out of my trash. And I mean it. Daddy loves you. But you got to stay out of trash. You must stay out of the trash. Anyway, I'll keep you guys up. See where we're going to go next. Okay. We are empty. We are leaving Janesville right now. It's kind of weird. I, I come in from that way. Ron doesn't want me to go that way. You know what? I have a tendency of going the same way I came in. So that's what we're going to do. It's a horseshoe here, but still the same. We'll just go around the same way we can. Oh, but we're going to Rockford, Illinois to pick up a load. And that is going to Terre Haute, Indiana. But we're going to drop it at the yard there in Kankakee, Illinois. There's some of you guys that said you're tired of seeing Kankakee, Illinois. But <laughs> I apologize for that. But that is our yard, you know. But uh, he says he's going to help or he's going to find me a longer load. Uh, so that's good. And uh, I gave him a reminder that Saturday I must be at the trucking show. Uh, I said if you can get me there by Friday evening, that's, that'll work too because I can get on into Papa John's over there and I can park. And uh, I'm excited. I am very, very excited about this. But we are on our way to Rockford, Illinois, right now. Uh, we're over here by our pickup here in Rockford. Uh, I love that windshield wire still. Man. Should be getting pretty close. It's 32 degrees. I was going to say it should be getting above freezing a little bit. I'm trying to make it where you guys can see. I'm trying. Right here. there. Owens Corning is where we're going. I just got to find truck route or truck route. Yeah, truck route. No outlet. Rockford plant. Well, we got to go straight through there. But that's where we're going, Rockford plant. Is this where the Pink Panther works? Where the uh, pink insulation is? Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Rhonda. 
Uh, I turned Rhonda up. Somebody actually said, we don't hear Rhonda anymore. Uh, I turned her up. Well, I can see there's a gate. I guess we gotta talk to somebody, huh? Shipping office. Well, at least they got their intercom truck level, right? I'll be back, guys. I gotta talk to somebody here. Now we're at a standoff. We can't go nowhere. I can't go no further, man. My trailer's about to go in off the road. There we go. I don't know what he was thinking. Shipping and receiving, right there. Shipping and receiving. Do we pull in there or do we just shipping? Insulation. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna go up here. It's shipping. It says shipping up here. Insulation, delivery, and pickup. Well, let's go up here. We'll park right here on the edge. At least I can turn around if I got to. There's two shippings down there and up here. This gate opens up automatically. Oh, good boy. All right. I sure do make this lane awfully skinny. That roadway is skinny. Two trucks cannot pass each other on it. <laughs> you think Owens Corning could uh, afford a, a wider drive? But it definitely does say uh, dead end. So if you don't have to come back here, you don't want to come back here. Because you can't go no further. You'd have to back out of here. Okay, well, anyway, let's get our butts to Kankakee, Illinois. Well, you guys want to guess what town I'm coming into? <laughs> Big man from Michigan says, I'm tired of hearing about Kankakee, uh, but that's where I'm at. I'm going to drop this wagon. Take the... Take Pooh and Jake out, and we're gonna go get something to eat. Just me. I don't know, I may have chicken and KFC right down here by the yard. And uh, I suppose to pick up a. Boy, Rhonda. But it's supposed to be a load at the yard for me. But he hasn't given it to me just yet. Well, we are done for today. I'm in Kinky Key. I'm at the uh, at the Loves, and uh, we got our load. We're going to Louisville tomorrow, and uh, for a delivery. I don't know where. Come on, shoot, get up. I don't know where I'm going after that, but I had to get on the Jake again. Yeah, he got in trash again. I, I don't know how to break him of that. If anybody has any ideas, I'm sure up for it. I'm not going to beat him. So, if anybody's going to...
tell me that's going to be the solution to the problem well then <laughs> we got to find a different one i've scolded him out i don't know maybe i just need to take the trash out with me all the time maybe that's just what i got to do right but that's not teaching him not to get in it that's just keeping him from getting in it if you know what i mean i'm trying to break him from the habit Anyway, we are done for today. Absolutely positively. And, uh, trying to. There we go. Hey, Pooh Bear. Did you have a good day today? I'm upset with you. I'm upset with you. You having a good day today? I'm upset with you, Jake. Keep like getting in the trash, don't you? Anyway guys we are tired. Are you tired? Are you tired? Are you tired? Hmm? Are you tired? I'm a pool bear. Is he tired? I just took me a shower. Man. Anyway guys we are done for today. Somewhere there on the screen there's a subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to the trucker jukebox and the pool bear show and Jake Break. We ask you to come along and ride with us on our journey. You like all this attention? Huh? You like all this attention? Huh? Do you? You like all these subscribers and everybody liking you? Huh? We've ran into a few people that's already uh, recognized who we were. And, and uh, it doesn't fail that every time that happens, they want to meet Pooh Bear and Jake Ray, Which I'm totally fine with that you know because they are my biggest part of my show ain't that right god bless good night we will see you guys come 5 a.m tomorrow morning. good night Later.